M0FXB Hamtech, just a quick one here on the Bofung 1701 DMR VHF UHF radio running OpenGD77 and also the Retivis RT3S or the MD3A T390 dual band model running OpenGD77. Now, straight away, I'll tell you that this cost me about £90, but then I had to load the OpenGD77 firmware on it. This cost me. 46 pound and it became it came from aliexpress pre-loaded with the open gd77 firmware why do we love it because you can manual dial and you can do satellite work watch this menu go down to satellites now you do have to get your location in here but you don't need gps you'll see there press it again and again look how good that is and same here look for satellite bit the menus are virtually identical. Ah, look, my GPS isn't in there, but it does the, it does the same thing. And then if you want to just select manual mode, if we back out on this one, you just press the hash. Oh, that's in DTMF mode now. Now the, the screen, I would say is actually the same bit, well, I don't know, a bit deeper, is it? I think it's the same screen actually, although it's, it looks deeper, but it's not, it's just lower. They both have full keypads, both got PTT and programmable buttons, but the 1701 looks like it has two, so there's an extra one there. Both have channel change volume, both got the twin connectors, but this one's got a screw on it here to hold it down. Bigger battery on the 1701. I just think that the 1701 is better value basically you're getting a lot more for your money that's dual mode there dual mode now let's do the manual dial hash then we go 91 talk group press that the same goes for air. 91 hash and you can of course you know you can manual dial as well oh it's gone back to dtmf my fault so just a quick one before I close down, it's getting quite late here, but overall, I'll put the link in the description for the 1701. Definitely the one to go for, um, easily if you ask me, but they're both very solid. They both work really well and you can customize all the colors. You've got a massive menu here when you're using the GD77 firmware. I'm just starting from the top. There's a lot of learning to do, but everything's programmable from the actual radio and from the provided software by OpenGD77. So you don't use the software that came with the radio, although very easy to convert this back to the original way. But I find the radio almost unusable with the original way, unless you've got a pre-made pre co-plug. Uh, yeah, once is the co-plug is, is programmed, then of course it's usable, of course, and it's nice, but this is more fun. There you are, just scrolling down through. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel, 73. Bye for now.